Hello, this is a quick video to show you how to fix error 19 on a Bosch dishwasher. I'm going to show you the error first. So when you switch it on, you'll see in the top right hand corner the program select. And it doesn't matter which one you select, when you press the button, error 19. Okay, now before we get started, there's a few things you're going to need to fix error 19. Um, you are going to need this. Now there is a link in the description to what this is. This is a heat exchange valve solenoid system. What's happening with your dishwasher is this has stopped responding to electrical signals. You're going to need one of these. It's basically a T15 Allen key. Relatively easy to get your hands on these. Um, again, I'll pop a little link in the description. These are really, really cheap. Okay, now if error 19 has popped up, or if any error has popped up on your dishwasher, and it's gonna take you a little bit of time to fix it, there is one other thing I would recommend that you do straight away, and that is get some antibacterial spray, and just, Spray over it. Don't be shy with it. Simply because if you leave it for any length of time, more than I would say a week, there is a good chance that by leaving the damp enclosed inside your dishwasher, it is going to smell bad. This will just prevent the bacteria from uh, growing. Again, um, helps, it says on the side there, Kills 99% of the bacteria and it will just stop the smells from building up. It is really important to make sure that all the electric and the water is disconnected. Okay, you're gonna to need to locate this screw here, which is a T15 screw and undo it. There's another one at the bottom, just here. Okay, you'll find another screw on the back, just here. This one's a little bit tougher to get off. Someone must have had a go at this with an electric screwdriver. Uh, you'll find another one at the bottom, just here. With the four screws removed, this side panel just comes straight off. Now the part that you're looking for is just here. Now you can see here that this machine is still full of water. So this will need to be drained. To drain it, you simply disconnect this. This part here needs to be released. Okay, now I'm gonna show you on the one that we haven't yet installed. Just here, you can see there's a little clip that you need to pull sideways, just here. This little clip is the bit that you need to pull. Now, down on the actual machine itself, that little clip is just here, difficult to show you on camera, but it's just here. And what you need to do is you need to push that little clip forwards and then without pulling hard, without pulling hard, just take the, take the little electrical contacts off. It can be a little bit tricky, but with a little bit of perseverance, it should be fine. Okay, so this is the technique that I use. I push this blue bit across, and then on the left-hand side here, so you see this little clip here, you push that so that it's not holding anymore, and gently slide down. It's a very tricky part. 
like so. And that's it off. Now on this one, all I had to do to get it to move is to pull it hard to the left. And you can see here the water is moving through this little S bend here. You can hear it draining. Okay, now that the water is drained, what you want to do is starting at the bottom, just put a, a knife, just gently pry that forward so that it clicks. And then same thing on, the, on this one up above. You want to just put a little knife in, not too sharp. You can actually go in from the sides as well, but I'm going to go this way. Just get the easier. And then you want to just pull this. Pull this gently forward. There we go. Not much, because all it is, is so that you can quarter turn this. So you just quarter turn this. Let's get a towel ready. Okay, shove a towel in there. Now quarter turn this. And then gently. This is why you need a towel there. Gently pop that part off. I don't know if you can see that. And then replace it with the new part. This is the new one. And all we want to do, same thing but in reverse. We're just gently putting it in. Once it's in, simply a quarter turn. Don't need the towel there to be anymore, but I'm going to do it anyway with the towel there in place so that you can see. Yikes. Shouldn't have to force this. Okay. This is the bit where you find out that you've ordered the wrong part. Turn it like that, quarter turn, so that it fits into the grooves. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. Slide it into place. Now at the back there, I can see that this isn't aligned properly. I think I've got a slightly more powerful solenoid one. Still. Okay. Yeah, I think this one's slightly wider. It should still work. And then turn it a quarter turn into the groove. Into that groove there. Can you see it's in that little groove? Just there? And all that it does is it holds it into place. There we go. We're in. There we go. And we're into place. Then remove the towel and push the main water back into the position so that it clicks. And now the fun reassembly bit. Make sure you've got dry hands for this bit. Because you're going to be touching the bit where the electrical contacts are. Got the key. 
don't think that goes there, you know. I think that goes on the outside. Anyway, this bit just slides into place, like so. So it's all locked into place. So push that a little bit. So that's it. Okay, we've reconnected the water, but I have left the side off just so that we can see it in action. Is the electrical? It is. And okay, okay. Moment of truth. Ta-da! No error 19. Okay, hope this helps. Bye.